Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how to add multiple images inside your pdf document using ts pdf library let me show you a very simple example here basically you can see that we have three input fields out there in order to select images from we have one input file second input file third input file and then we have got a simple button generate pdf if i choose file here i can select the first image i can select the second image like this and I can select the third image. This can be PNG, JPG image, all that stuff. You will see we have three selected three images right here. If I click the button generate PDF, you will see that it, the PDF file will be generated and you will see that automatically three pages are there inside this PDF document. This is the first page which contains the first image. This is the second page which contains the second image and this is the third page which contains the third image. You can see it is taking up the full width of the uh, page and the full height of the PDF document. So we will try to replicate this application how to insert multiple images inside your PDF document using uh, TS PDF library inside PHP. TS PDF uh, in the last tutorial I'll introduce to a new library which is a PDF generation library open source library of PHP and basically I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website in the description of this video if you want the full source code of this application you can follow this blog post which is given in the description of this video so now let's get started you need to first of all install exam control panel which is the Apache web server you need to start this uh, at port, port 80 I have already started this so now inside your root directory we will uh, delete all these files and start from scratch so here we need to first of all install these uh, composer just install composer.json uh, just make this file and I have given the code which you need to write basically in order to fetch this library so this json code is there simply copy this and paste it here and here we just need to update this file so we will execute this command which is composer update so what it will do guys it will just create a vendor folder in the left hand side of the screen here you will see this vendor folder will contain all the libraries which will be needed for this application which is tspdf and which contains this autoload.php file which we just need to load inside our application so this file we, ju we just need to load and right here in the root directory we will create an index.php file here so basically guys inside this file we will have uh, three input fields out there we will have a simple form here with the help of which we can simply insert images so we will have a simple form here so inside this form basically the method here will be post method and here the action will go to the same page so here we will simply write here PHP echo and it will go to the same page so that's why we will PHP PHP underscore self so just close this like this so here we also need to provide the encoding type guys because uh, we are, we are just uh, submitting images here so that's why we do need to provide encoding type which will be equal to multi-part form data so just include this you will see encoding type multi-part slash form data so after this guys we will have three input fields three labels first of all let me just paste this html code this code is given in the description of this video so don't worry about it so let me paste it here you will see that guys we have the first label for the first image element we have the second one we have given each input element a name attribute which is image 1 image 2 image 3 so in this way you can have unlimited input fields where we can allow users to select images so in this example we are only allowing three times the user the ability to select images inside the PDF document so at a time user can select only three images so this is a select field for one two three we have also then we have a simple button which will generate the PDF document so if I now go to the refresh it you will see this will be the HTML so now we just need to write the PHP code which is required for this application so right here at the very top we just need to invoke this PHP tag here So here we will first of all write a simple if condition so if server 
and here basically we will check for the request method request and the underscore method and if this is equal to post then in that case we perfectly know that this is a post request so we just need to require this file which is stored inside the vendor folder and this is auto load file autoload.php so if you see inside the vendor folder we have this autoload.php file we are including this file which contains all the code for the library so we are just including this right here at the very top and then guys we just need to initialize a new pdf document of using tspdf constructor and then we will add a new page inside this we will first of all set the title of the pdf document by using set title and here we can simply set the title my pdf document and then we can simply also can set a font as well custom font by using this method which is set font helvetica we are passing the size to be 12 and then basically we can add a simple for each loop guys so how many images are selected by the user we can use a simple for each loop and files as file so we can simply use this for for each loop and here inside this we can have a simple if condition let me paste this if condition here so here we will simply check for the validation for the file if this is only an image file then only we just need to insert this so we are checking the type parameter of this if this equal to image slash jpg or image slash png so if the P image is PNG or JPG, then only we are up, up, uh, adding the image. We are simply adding the page first of all, adding a blank page using add page method of TSPDF. And then we are adding a new image by using this image method. We are providing the temporary location using this uh, dollar file temp name. So this will have the temporary location of the file image file. We are not in, uh, uploading this file on the server. We are not uploading it. We are just getting this uh, location temporary location using uh, dollar file temp name then this is x coordinate y coordinate width and height and then we are inserting it that's all so after this guys we will simply show the pdf document in the browser as a attachment so that people can download this so just after this for each loop we will use the output method to in order to show the PDF document. Here you can just give it a output file name. Let's suppose file.pdf. That's all. So now if I just reload this application, if I select the first image, second image, and third image, so you will see that this will generate this PDF document. And this is first image, second image, third image, and you can simply download this image like this inside your computer this is your file.pdf which is there so in this way guys you can insert multiple images using php using the tspdf library i have shown you step by step all the source code is given in the description of this video